Hey everyone, finally got out with this beautiful weather, 80 degrees here in New Jersey. Um, got out on the FZ for a street ride, been meaning to do this for a while and today the weather and the conditions are right. I just wanted to uh, give a review of my 2017 Yamaha FZ09. Uh, I'll be having a little more riding part of the video uh, in a little while. For right now, I just want to go over the mods and, and highlight some of the things that I've done with this motorcycle. Um, the first thing that I did is it drove me crazy that the frame was black, the engine was black, the swing arm was black, and the rear sets were not. Uh, this is one of the things that, that, like I said, drove me crazy. So I took the rear sets off, the stock rear sets, which I was perfectly fine with, and had them powder coated. While they were off, I also took the heat shield off and sprayed that with some high temperature black paint. Uh, to match as well. So it got rid of a lot of that black that's on there. Also see, I have my Womet crash protectors that I got from TST Industries. Nice bundle package they have for I think a little over $100 for frame sliders, bar end sliders, axle sliders, and rear swing arm bobbins. Uh, you can also see I no longer have the rear sets on. Uh, my wife is not a fan of riding on the motorcycle with me, so I got the EvoTech uh, Passenger Peg Delete, and I have those there. They're a very nice item. Not too pricey, and they do the job. Uh, what you can also probably see is I took off that European-style plate holder, which I was never a fan of. Um, didn't like it at all, so I took it off, and what I typically do is fabricate my own plate holders with other bikes in the past. So what I've done, and yes, before people start lambasting me for it, I do still have the stock pumpkins on there. But for now, I'm okay with that because in New Jersey, you really want people to know when you're turning. Um, but it's just a fabricated piece of aluminum that I made. I also have got this light from TST Industries to stay nice and legal and uh, made some custom mounts off of the stock blinker mount um, as well. And then what I'm gonna do is change these out to some TST short stocks, which uh, I actually had a pair and was gonna do it, but then I smashed the back end of my WRR uh, dirt bike and put them on there. Uh, what you'll also see, let's see what else, bobbins, the rear sets, the other parts of the rear sets that I didn't powder coat, I just took off and painted myself. Um, some of the componentry, uh, the pegs and everything I, I did get done. I should clean that up a little bit. Um, what else? Oh, I painted the bars black. Didn't, uh, didn't want to take the time to take them and have them powder coated. Didn't want to spend the money to get the... Uh, XSR bars that come in black for the cost. Um, they didn't come out perfect, so I kind of regret not powder coating them, but I didn't want to have the bike down for any length of time. Um, what else did I do? You know, a standard tank pad. Uh, mentioned the rear set uh, deletes. This is this side, a little cleaner. Unfortunately, I've been riding to get here, so the bike needs to be a little bit cleaner. I'll wipe it off for some of the other shots. Um, the axle sliders, what you can see too, is I upgraded the pads almost immediately to the uh, EBC HH pads because I felt there was there was a lack of braking for what it should have been with a modern motorcycle. Um, so I think that's about it for now. Of course, I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff that I'll go over at some point in time. But uh, on to a little bit of riding. See you shortly. Of course, one of the other things I forgot to mention are these Pazzo knockoff levers. Uh, they're on eBay. I'll insert a picture of my actual Pazzo levers on my SV1000 and compare them to these. are virtually identical weight, shape, performance. Um, you know, everything right down to the, to the changing of the position. I'm really not a fan of the knockoff parts, but unfortunately I found it with my own business when I was making some parts is that give it a week or two and somebody's going to knock it off. China always does. I paid $160 for my original Pazos. Great product. I'm not taking them off. But I got these for less than 30 bucks on eBay. And they're just as solid. So more on that later.
motorcycle parking only. Some dead bugs. One of the other things I wanted to point out while I'm filming here is this header. I think for a stock header, that is a damn sexy header. Of course, going into that big box, that's ugly, especially from the other side. But a lot of guys like to change out the exhaust right away. I, I just don't think it's worth it. The bike makes 115 on paper. A lot of guys are dynoing it. It's 105. The, the couple horsepower gains you get from a retune and a new pipe, you know, that you have $1,000 invested, to me, it's just not worth it. Um, you know, no aftermarket system I've seen has a header that, in my opinion, looks as nice as that one does. Yes, that part of it's ugly, but, you know, I'm over 40 now. I don't need to be loud and making a ton of noise and, and you know, dropping a grand on an exhaust just to say, oh, yeah, I got an exhaust and, and I tuned it. In my opinion, I've done track days. I've done touring. I've done twisty days. This is the other side of the ugly box. But what uh, I'm saying is in, in in my opinion you know better things this, this bike could use a little bit more suspension um and a lot of guys like to upgrade to to an olin suspension because that's you know out the door nine grand and where yamaha saved money is not putting the beefy suspension on it if you i think throw another grand at it the beefier suspension is on the xsr but again that was uh i don't really like the looks of the fsr i, I demoed these bikes in 2014 and uh, was glad that they did, uh, Yamaha did some modifications to it for 2017. Traction control, uh, the anti-lock brakes, which I have mixed opinions on being a track day guy. But uh, so far, I, I like the systems that they put on it. But it was just one other thing I wanted to mention when I was going over the parts, is that I have no intentions of changing out that stock exhaust anytime soon. Um, be, because of the reasons I mentioned. For the money, the money you put into it and the amount of gains you get for that thousand dollars is just not worth it to me it's it's you know over three hundred dollars of horsepower and it's just crazy okay back to the rest of the video of choice mount holly motorsports they sell yamaha ktm kawasaki suzuki polaris and uh they used to be a triumph dealer but that went by the wayside but it's a good dealership they do a lot of events uh, Supercross night, you know, Santa Claus at Santa at uh, Christmas time. A lot of good events. We bring the kids up here. Always have a good time. Always my go-to dealer for parts, uh, accessories. Uh, you know, I do 60-70% of my purchases through them, including this 2017 FZ09.